Good morning everybody, good afternoon, good night if you're watching this video at night time. Uh, I've been trying to do this guys for a while. This is just basically kind of, you know, me just talking my mind. Um, for those who don't know me, uh, my name is Pee Wee. Uh, well, my name is not Pee Wee, but my name is Pedro, but everybody calls me Pee Wee. So, um, yeah guys, this is kind of my story on uh, how I got with my, how I got interested to the uh lawn care industry and the lawn care business how i started my own business and um you know if you're going on your way to work you know and you stumbled upon uh, you know upon this video you maybe want to you know have you know extra income as far as you know a side hustle or you know as far as lawn care so you know you must have searched this up so um yeah guys i'm just gonna tell you how it went for me my first year how i got lured into the business um and uh, what made me do it you know so all right let's start uh with my story man um like i said my name is you know pedro reyes everybody calls me Pee Wee. uh i'm 23 years old i'm from in the houston area and um yeah guys you know i've been i've been doing lawn care off and on since i was like since 2013 so yeah how i how i got started like i said um i was chilling at my mom's house and um you know at the time i was living with them so um whenever that happened there was a guy that knocked on the door he was my front door neighbor so he was like hey um you're looking in uh you're looking for work and i was like this was summertime so i was like yeah you know what do you do he's like well you know i work with a uh landscaping company and they're looking for somebody uh that may want to be a helper and i was like yeah you know just sign me up he's like all right just be ready by things like you know he, he'll be like he was like be ready by tomorrow at 4 a.m or something like that so uh yeah guys my goal whenever i was like you know 13 years old my goal was to you know financially give me a car and um you know whenever you're small you're like you think well you don't think right but how can i say this uh whenever you're small you don't you don't see yourself getting a car because you're small you know what i'm saying you're like what the hell am i gonna do with a car but my goal was to get a car so um you know i saved up money and boom i got my first um my first car which was a honda civic well um you know, as the years passed uh i got off of high school and um you know, I've always been ambitious with uh with businesses. Uh, I'm not saying I'm the great business greatest business owner out there, but I've always wanted to, uh, you know, just kind of kind of get like how, how can I say this like freedom. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you know, in school, all they teach you is you know uh, go to college. If you don't go to college, you're not gonna get a good job. But uh, I knew I knew I knew this since the get go. Since I was like maybe ninth grade, like I don't need school to make money. You know, so if you if you think like that that's fine I, i've always thought thought like that whenever i was in high school i used to sell shoes i used to hustle you know what i'm saying so uh yeah like all my life i knew that i wanted to create a business but i i never knew like of what you know what i'm saying so uh you know i got off of high school i started working in like you know your retail stores and i didn't like it um and then i got introduced to the chemical plants so once I started working there, uh, you know, the money kept flowing and my main goal, I came into the chemical plants 2000, 2000, um, 2016 or 2015, something like that. I recently got laid off. So, uh, like I said, my main goal, whenever I went to the chemical plants was, you know, to create a business, but I didn't know what. So, um, you know, the money started flowing in with the chemical plants, you know, uh, you make pretty good money in the chemical industry or in the refinery industry, you know, so I did that, but my main goal was to get a business. So I started, uh, I don't know, uh, if I remember, you know, the, the people that are watching right now that know me, uh, I started uh, E-Reyes Electronics and, uh, for me, that was, um, that was a, uh, a big step, you know, cause I, mean, I was making a lot of money doing uh, E-Rays Electronics. I was, I mean, not your average, like, you know, $2,000 a week, but I was making um, anywhere from, like, 500 to, like, 1500 uh, a week weekend doing, um, you know, reselling electronics. Basically, what I'll do is um, I'll just, literally, my wife used to work at a pawn shop, so how I used to get the electronics, she used to, um, she used to get 40% discount, so let's say... Um, 
let's say an item was at a hundred dollars so 40 percent out of a hundred is like you know you take out forty dollars so i used to get the item for you know uh sixty dollars and then i would I, i'll sell that item item for like 120 you know so um you know game game consoles controllers um what else uh laptops ipads ipods i used to sell that <clears throat> so that went good but um well you know like i said the money was flowing in really really good what i think i messed up doing that is because i was in uh I wasn't, uh, I didn't learn the process of a business. I was just basically just making, trying to make money, you know what I mean? So that's what I think didn't work there. So prior to that, you know, I sold all my stuff. And uh, then here we go, here we go again, you know, to the to the first step, like, or, you know, yeah, of course, it's th the first step. I was like, well, what am I going to do now? You know, like, not doing E-Ray is electronic anymore, so... <clears throat> you know this was back maybe like in 2000 um 2017 2018 that i stopped doing that and 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 a year passed right and i was like man i don't know what to do you know um so uh you know that's why i was everything uh, they, they say that everything happens for a reason so in 2000 uh when was it man i'm, I'm really good bad with like dates but i believe it was like maybe like 2018 um my wife uh yeah it was 2018 no 2019 my wife um i found out my wife was pregnant so i was like wow you know like i'm gonna be a father uh i don't know i really don't i really didn't know what to do you know so you know I, i'm pretty sure you ever you've been through that but like I said, I, I didn't know what to do, so I was like, man, I need to start a hustle, I need to start doing something, so, um, uh, basically, uh, so 2019 passed, and then, yeah, like, 2000, like, November 2019, no, 2000, 2018, November, I believe, 2018, yeah, 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 there we go, 2018, around November, <coughs> uh, I decided to, uh, you know, it's like, well, I have my mower because I have reason to buy the house, right? So I have my mower, I have my blower, and I had my uh, weed eater, and um, yeah, guys, uh, I started, uh, I started putting ads on uh, OfferUp, and OfferUp sometimes doesn't let you, um, you know, put, you know, ads. So what I'll do is I'll just post a picture of the tools, and then in Spanish I'll be like, you know. Um, you know cortando sacate or like cutting grass but it'll be in spanish so like i guess the uh you know the offer up team wouldn't take it off and i think to this day it's still there so I, I did that and i started getting lawns you know what i mean and uh my first lawn that i got uh this was i was really nervous because i'm always been a nervous person so i told my wife like hey well you know what uh, my wife at the time she she was on our she was already not working um so i was like hey well you know i think i I think I'm gonna go cut that grass, and I think I only charged a lady like fifty dollars, and it was maybe like an acre, acre and a half. And I was literally just uh, push, well, not push mowing, but self, you know, using the self-propelled mower. <clears throat> Get something to drink, cause my my uh, <clears throat> garganta is getting dry. Uh. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, I think I charged it, like, $50, and it was, uh, it was, it was kind of embarrassing, because, um, the blower that I had, the blower that I had was not mine, it was my, um, my father in no, not my father in law my, uh, my stepdad, so, I was blowing, and, uh, I think it was a, a Hummer light or something like that, so I was blowing the, the patio, right, the, pot, the patio was pretty big, and uh, I don't know where the blower just starts burning, man. So I actually had to, uh, I actually had to ask the uh, the lady. I was like, "Hey, do you have like a, a blower? Because mine just messed up." So it's kind of embarrassing, but you know, whenever you're hungry, you gotta do what you gotta do. So uh, what's up, boy? Got my my put, puppy right here. But um, that's what I did. Uh, it was kind of embarrassing. So yeah, guys. So it, it just 
you know, I just started maybe like one or two lawns a week, and then it just started growing. You know, I started, I started sharing my stuff on uh, on Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, what else? Uh, Facebook, of course. And then I started doing that. I started marketing myself, and um, uh, I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel, but I've never, like I said, I never knew what. I knew I was gonna have one, but I never knew of what. So, um, you know, like I said, uh, lawn care was my vehicle, man. So, you know, I'm like I said, um, I've always wanted a business. I've always wanted a YouTube channel, but I just didn't know what. So, I kind of implemented that to this. So, you know, a lot of people ask me, like, what do you do YouTube? Um, and, um, yeah, guys. So, like I said, you know, prior to now, we have maybe this is my second year. <clears throat> maybe we have uh i'll say anywhere from 25 properties i know it's not a lot but uh if you could get 25 properties you could easily get 50 properties and uh yeah guys so we recently got a commercial property but uh man you know what i had to let that one go because the guy wasn't really like the guy was just really saying like hey i'm just gonna pay you this and that's it you know i want this this done so i was like you know what i'm not, I'm not gonna do that because, you know, like, let's say I estimated at him at the property for, like, you know, because we have th three different plants. So, the gold plan was, like, everything mulch and everything included, you know, de weed and, and all that. So, um, uh, we charged him 150 bucks, and he was like, nah, um, I think uh, $65 is good. And I was like, you know, I'll match it, but, man, like, that's a lot of work for $65. So, we probably won't go back. And, um... But yeah, guys, uh, let's say I got, I got a couple of questions. I'm only going to make this video maybe like 15 minutes long. And uh, like I said, you know, just if you're trying to if you're trying to get into a business, if you're trying to do a business, go ahead and do it, guys. This is the right time to do it. Uh, it, may, it may not be for everybody because it's a lot of stress. Um, it's a lot, a lot of stress. So, um, yeah, guys, just my puppy over there. <laughs> so, yeah, just... Um, you know, just what I always tell people, guys, just uh, just follow your dreams, you know. Um, sometimes dreams do come true. Like, how can I say this? Let me see. Come over here, man. Like I said, dreams do come true. Um, you know, and always write your your goals down. Write, write them in a, in a notebook or write them uh, somewhere where you can see them. And... Um, yeah, guys, we have a lot of good plans for this year, uh, but, you know, this this kind of um, this coronavirus thing just, you know, kind of pushed everything aside. But, you know, uh, you don't want to get yourself down because of that. You just, you know, you just ride with it. You know, if you have if you have goals, you can still do it, man. So, yeah, let's get to the questions. I have like two, three questions. So uh, one of my uh, subscribers says, uh, let me see, how do you run your business? That's a good question. How how we run our business? How how will you run a long care business? Um, like I said, whenever I started, um, I didn't know nothing about like running a business, you know, or um, basically like what I do, I just operate it solo. So uh, you know, I'm my own boss, so I make my own my own hours. Uh, I make my own schedule, you know. So let's say if I have, I don't know, four lawns a day or something like that, you know. Um, I've always, I've, I've never been a morning person. Um, but I've, I've always tried to wake up earlier, you know. So if you're running a business, you definitely want to wake up a little bit earlier. So, uh, you know, that's what I think, you know, that's what, uh, that's my suggestion to you, you know, just wake up early. Um, be good with your clients, guys. This is another thing. Be good with your clients. Um, for the ones that need it, right? For the ones that 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 always like, hey, they're always calling you back on time. They're always paying you on time. Uh, take care of those customers, and always do more. Let's say, uh, I don't know, you're you mow their grass, right, or something like that. You know, for me, I always like I always like putting free weed killer and free ant killer on on you know. Excuse me. On the properties, I'll always throw that in for free whenever I have some, right? So, um, like I said, always take, you know, take care of your customers that take care of you. 
be polite you know um you're you are running a business guys so uh be business minded be business professional you know what i mean like if, if a customer pisses you off you know don't don't go <laughs> don't don't go cussing at him you know i always try to do everything professional you know if some, some if he doesn't like something I'm like hey well you know what what can we do so we can improve it you know what can we do to please you because you know always the customer will always be um he will always be right no matter what the customer is always going to be right so um yeah like i said you know just run your business if you're running a legit business uh you know always always show up in time if you tell them hey i'm gonna be there at 10 I always show up at 10 and if you're a little bit late you know just let them know hey uh i'll be there uh a little bit later you know you know i got caught up doing this you know just you know don't lie be um be like i said be professional you know be professional uh let me see so yeah that's pretty much it i just had that one question so yeah guys if you if you like these videos like i said um go ahead and like comment and subscribe guys and um yeah guys cherry lemonade but um if you like this video guys just let me know i'll keep doing them i'll keep doing like a series and if you have any questions just uh let me know i'll answer them and uh i'll answer them the best way i can guys because uh you know i mean we're all human so you know everybody has different questions so and everybody has different answers so you know i'll just answer them how i think uh, but um all righty guys this is p with p with longer if you like the video like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one